Well, why don't you and the girls warm up with a jam session? Okay, suits me. Let's take it, girls. <laughs> of my life is music. All these women were playing horns and drums and basses and everything. I'd never seen that before. We stand all around the corner whenever we play. And we travel all over Germany, France, Belgium. The rock and chair to rock, a rubber ball to roll, takes a long tall day to satisfy my soul. Baby rocks me with that steady roll. I had been directing a professional male orchestra, and of course the draft board had taken a lot of my men, and when I first joined the International Sweethearts, I said, what a bunch of cute little girls, but I don't know whether I could get along with that many women or not. Do you want to jump children? Yeah! Do you want to jump children? Yeah! Jump, 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 jump! I played with the greatest female band ever. I had the best seat in the house. I was watching the show go on, and I'm just sitting in the rhythm section. I loved every minute of it. Every minute. <laughs> There's this quality of life as you're living it in the moment. That's what keeps jazz what it is. You can't play jazz unless you feel it in here. It really is unexplainable. The blues is the basis of everything in jazz. If Mary Lou Williams had been a man, she would have been able to do so much more for the music, for herself. All the guys were scared of Mary Lou and Melba. I can see why they would be. Those women knew what they were doing, and they knew how to play, and they were tough. The guys can have white hair and glasses and weigh 300 pounds, but if they can play, great. The girls, they want to look like a bunch of young starlets. Now when you pick your chicks, you pick them big and fat. You can bet your booze that if tight like that. I you had to have girls who think more about how they looked than how they played. Guys just didn't want chicks on their bandstand. A bunch of women in the world trying to make their place in the world among musicians where prejudice existed because they were women. I may be small, but baby, have no fear. I can climb a hill without shifting gears. We didn't get exposure like Inery Hutton's band or other orchestras. By being a mixed group with different nationalities, well, we didn't have the exposure that they had. Lil Armstrong and I were pretty good friends at that time. She was married to Lou Armstrong, and even she had a tough time. You know, from a physical standpoint, it would seem that women in music do best when they play the piano. And this is probably because it takes less physical effort to play the piano than, say, a wind instrument or, for that matter, the drums. And to prove how right Duke is, here is Marion McFarland right now playing I Could Write a Book. People used to pay me a compliment they thought it was. She plays just like a man. Honestly, did you consider that you're working under a handicap to try to make a profession of being a jazz pianist as a woman? Well, it has never been a handicap, Jean, truly, and I really don't think about it. I just think of myself as a musician working with other musicians. You put a bunch of musicians behind a curtain, and who's going to tell me who's the female playing or who's the male playing? You can't do that. I'm a musician first, and I just happen to be female. The fun lasted until we started doing one-nighters uh, in the South. 
Well, traveling through the South, we'd pull into a service station, and the guy would come out with his gun and say, we don't have any black toilets. You niggas go out in the field and squat. The black bands were very good, and they bumped into a lot of problems where they wouldn't be able to work because they were black. The white world was completely unaware of us because most of our venues all over the country were played in black venues. They wouldn't stand for us mixing. I was dying to get hold of a girl one time that was a trumpet player and she was just great. And I wanted to put her in the band, you know. And they said we can't do it because there are a lot of people that would object to a mixed racial band. There could be no fraternization between the races, except in a commercial endeavor. But in public, there was no contact of any kind, and everything was segregated. If we were in a theater, the white folks would be downstairs, and the ropes would be dividing the blacks and the whites. I think that the whole point of jazz has an element of freedom to it. But you cannot avoid the racism. You can't avoid what the effects of it are. And they're devastating because they still serve to divide people. I was surrounded by the girls with so much love, and yet I knew that I was provoking fear in others. And then so many times I felt so embarrassed for my race, so humiliated by them. I wanted to lash out at them. Those were rough days. Rough times. Scary times. Well, I'm so glad that being a woman and coming along when I did, that they finally accepted me for who I am and what I do and why I do it. I think jazz is definitely in for a big upswing. When you see those girls playing those trumpets and trombones, and I'm talking about playing them, man is going to have to realize you can't stop them. You can't stop them. Oh, <laughs>